This video is a brief introduction to the MATLAB mixing tank GUI. Key steps then. Number one, you need to move to the relevant folder in MATLAB and check that the P file, and that should say fig file, I do apologise, are present. Type the name of the file to run. Use the four sliders in the GUI to select your choices for inlet concentration, initial concentration, flow rate and tank volume. And then there's a run button. And every time you press the run button, you'll get a new line pot for the parameters you've just chosen, which means you can check the plots for different choices of parameters. The colours in the tank will change to represent concentration to give you some sort of visual impact. So if we go to MATLAB and have a look, here's the MATLAB window. So the first thing you do is go to the folder where the files are stored. And here I've called it Mixing Tank GUI. So if I now type what, you'll see I've got a fig file, mixingtank.fig, and an M file, mixing tank. In fact, I've called it a P file here instead of an M file. So if I now type mixing tank, I can run this. And the window appears here. It just about fits in this screen, so you're better off having a larger screen. And you'll see I've got four sliders for tank volume, inlet concentration, flow rate, and initial concentration. So what I could do is I could say, let's set the inlet concentration to be 0.4. There we go, which is the maximum it's allowed for this particular GUI. And then I can use this push to update choices, and it will give me the simulation. And you'll notice how the colours change in the tank as it gets to the concentration of the inlet. And you have this line pot here, which shows you how quickly the concentration is changing. Now what I could do next is I could say, OK, let's try changing the tank volume. So now the tank volume is 3, but I've not changed anything else. So if I push to update the choices, what impact has that had? And you see the concentration changes more slowly, but it's going to get to the same steady state. I could take the tank volume down to 1 and see what does this do. And you'll see the concentration changes more quickly, but it's going to get to the same steady state. I could increase the flow rate and see what that does. And what happens now? The concentration changes very quickly. Anyway, I hope that's enough for you to see roughly how this GUI works.